Good morning! I'm here once again at the Bear Lake Trailhead inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And as the sunrise gets later and later, it just keeps getting darker and darker the earlier I show up. And today, I'm going to go check out the little Matterhorn. It's this really narrow ridge that sticks out over Odessa Lake. It's really technical, class 3 tons of exposure so I don't know if I'm gonna get to the actual summit or not so you can't hike fail me I kinda of wanna just go check it out see what it's like looking at about 4.2 miles out with over a 2,000 foot elevation gain I'm starting out here at about 5:45 in the morning it's pretty warm and it's honestly not even that smoky up here I'm super happy about that. Just past Bear Lake, you come to this first trail split. We're going to take a right. After 11 minutes worth of hiking, I'm up here to the next trail split. And if you take the right, that'll take you over to Beerstadt. However, we're going to take the left and continue on up towards the lakes. Made it up to the next trail split. To the left will take you over to Flat Top Mountain. However, we're going to stay to the right and continue on in the direction of Odessa Lake and Fern Lake. Been hiking for under 40 minutes and I'm up here to this real beautiful lookout. This is about 1.5 miles into the hike at an elevation of 10,175 or so. If I'm not mistaken, the book described the hike across the ridge as like high class three with some expert route finding to keep it that way. And it also has dizzying, dizzying exposure. Exposure that makes you dizzy. So, I don't know. Seeing as how I got sketched out on the rocks above Gem Lake, I might not be able to make it all the way. I will have absolutely no shame if I have to turn around at the very top. I'm actually pretty much planning on that. But it'd be cool if I could at least get up on that ridge and get some cool shots for you guys. I'd consider that a success. Coming around the corner and I'm getting my first real good look at Little Matterhorn. And then look at the surrounding peaks. On the left you got Notch Top kind of in the middle is Knob Top. On the right, Joe Mills. And then there in the middle, that's going to be Little Matterhorn. I need to aim for a specific goalie that'll take me up to the ridge, past the hard parts where I can hopefully get out to the summit. Looks like it's right here. Right here where the trail takes this big bend and starts heading to the north. I'm not sure if this is the little social trail that I need, but I'm going to head off right here. It looks like this trail brought me on over to Lake Helene. Actually guys, I worked my way a little to the south and I found this really nice trail right here. I think this is going to be it. Well. This was a no-go. Ran into some cliffs over here. Looks like I'm going to have to backtrack and try again. Ah, yes. I think this is what I want. This looks way better. This trail continues. It's actually pretty nice. I'm thinking this has got to be the one that I want. It keeps winding down. And then right out there is Odessa Lake.
it looks like I'm still heading in the right direction. It just gets a little nasty right here. I think this is going to lead right on down to that little pond. And now that I've made it to the pond, hopefully this is the last of the downhill and I'll get to start going up. But I think I'm looking pretty good. I'm just going to stay to the left of the pond and work it around. This is good. The trail continues on past the pond. I was hoping it was going to do that. I'm looking good. I just need to cross that water and then start heading up. I mean, it looks bad, but it doesn't look that bad. And as soon as you cross the water, the fun part instantly begins. Making my way up these rocks pretty easily. It's really steep. But the rocks are pretty solid, which makes it a lot easier. The thing I'm worried about though is this wind. If it's blowing too hard up there, I'm not even going to think about trying it. And that's looking back in the direction that I have come from. Way up high there is Lake Helene. You can see that big down and up section. I'm getting up there though. It's just slow moving. I made it up the first section, the straight up part, and now I'm angling it to the north. I'm just going to keep heading straight up and then go in between that boulder and the trees to the right. Well, I came around the corner and I tried, but this is all a no-go. It's too steep and too loose. I just slide right on back down. This is getting pretty sketchy, guys. I'm not sure how much further I can go. It's just, every step is like super hard. I just kicked off a major rock slide. It's getting way too sketchy over here, guys. I think I'm gonna have to turn around. If I could just get across that part and then up on these big rocks, I feel like I could do it, but I just can't get across that loose part. It just goes sliding right off. And I would not be able to get my, regain my uh, stability if I lost it. I'd go sliding all the way down that. This looks like the end of the road from right here. I can't go any higher. It's just loose dirt hills that are too steep. And uh, I'm gonna slide down them eventually. It's dangerous. So what I'm thinking about doing right now is giving this one last shot and maybe heading down right over here to the left and seeing if I can go down and back up. After going back down and then coming around and heading back up, I'm discovering that this is the way. All right, it looks like I'm still in business here. This is gonna connect over and I can start up that final section. I'm on the home stretch. I'm gonna get up there. This is pretty gnarly. It 
looks like smooth sailing. Straight ahead. I'm pretty much up here. And just by the looks of it, I don't think I can get to that summit. Look at that. All right, guys. And in four hours and 10 minutes, I'm up here on the ridge of Little Matterhorn. This was my basic goal today, so I feel successful. Now I'm just gonna go out there and see how far I can get. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna make it. That looks totally sketchy. That's looking back up to the north. And it is really beautiful today. It's not very smoky at all. And that's looking at Little Matterhorn back to the west. And you see why it's really difficult to come from that direction? You've got to go over all that crazy stuff right there. I think I can make it around this first obstacle up high, but if not, I can always go around it low. But yeah, this is no joke up here. This is serious. Unless you go directly over the top of that real narrow and exposed rock, I don't see a way across because you got this big crack running down. I've tried about three different ways and I haven't been able to cross it yet. So what I'm doing now is hiking all the way back down, kind of to the bottom of the crack where I can get across it right there, and then I'm going to try and work it back up. I am running out of time though, so I need to start moving. I'm basically in the crack right now, and I had to jump down here. I hope I can get back out of it. And then I'm going to take it right over here and see how close I can get. Well guys, I think this is officially the end of the road. I'm just kidding myself, thinking I'm going to get up there. It looks so sketchy, and it's getting real steep. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and head back. Oh my goodness, guys. I about cliffed myself out just then. That part that I jumped down earlier, I couldn't get back up right there. It was like an overhanging little cliff. I could not get back up it. So then I started to freak out. So I went down the crack, looked for a spot, couldn't find one. Went back up the crack, tried a few spots, they weren't working. Finally I found one. I found a little spot that I could get up and over, but it was sketchy. Oh my goodness, I need to get off this thing. I had to stop for a quick break, because I really haven't even sat down yet. I've been moving all day. And as I come down, I'm staying more to the north of the gully. And it actually looks better up top. I'm not sure what it's going to do at the bottom, but for right now, it's good. All right, guys. And I made it back down to the water. Hallelujah! This is looking back at what I just came down. And this is the trick. You want to go up part way. And then start cutting across. And then get over there. Where I messed up is I just went straight up, straight up, and I kept trying to go up. And that's where I ran into all that loose dirt up there. And probably wasted 45 minutes to an hour. Easy. Alright guys, let's finish out this last three miles or so. And then be done with this hike.
It's 12 o'clock on the nose, and I made it back up here to this little pond. I'm still sitting up here at the pond, trying to regain my energy, and I'm going for the secret weapon, the espresso beans. Well guys, it's just past 12.35, I've been sitting up here for a few minutes, however, I do need to finish up this last three miles, so it's time to go, it's time to head on back. Although I gotta go uphill again, this part right here is really pretty. Here's a close-up of the little Matterhorn, and I can see exactly where I made it to, just on the other side of that first ravine coming down. And that's the thing that I jumped down into, and then almost couldn't get back across. That was sketchy. I had to go way up higher and then kind of like zigzag it back on out of there and climb up. Had to make a few somewhat risky moves. Even though I officially ruled out the hike fail at the beginning of the hike, I still feel like I failed a little bit. I didn't get to the summit. But then again, I gave it my best shot and there was no way I was getting up there. <laughs> that was just way too technical. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's no way I'm going up and over that little pointed thing. And check it out, guys. A little snake off the side of the trail. I think he's a friendly snake. So he's not going to bite me or anything. It's not a rattlesnake. I think it's just a regular garter snake. See those things pretty much everywhere. But this is only the second snake that I've ever seen in Rocky Mountain National Park. The other one was down by Balanced Rock, which is a little lower in elevation, so I could expect that, but that's crazy to see one up here. stop thunder off to my left which would be the north which is fine with me let it rain up there as much as it can I mean by the time this video gets released hopefully the Cameron peak fire will be out but right now that thing is just raging and we need all the rain we can get well looks like I couldn't quite beat the rain that's what I get for fiddle farting around doing time lapses Looks like I couldn't quite beat the hail either. I'm getting pelted right now.
I'm back on the regular cam now. The rain has finally stopped. But boy, it dumped pretty hard there for about 20 minutes, I'd say. All right, it's exactly 2.30 on the nose, and I made it back down to the parking lot. And that was about 8.4 miles total. Hope you enjoyed it, and until the next hike, y'all, peace.